Mr. O'Rourke of Texas, you are now recognized uh, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I, I have yet to hear a, a compelling answer to Mr. Liu's questions about why we can't unify within a single system. I, I understand the system has to run on submarines. I understand that uh, within the VA we are taking care of veterans from the point at which they transition out of active duty service until, as you said, Secretary Counsel, they leave this earth. Um, but, but I think the, the fundamentals of the system uh, seem to be uh, basic enough. And given the leverage that you two departments have uh, as the two largest departments within the Federal bureaucracy, uh, there's got to be a way that, that you, can, you can figure this out. Uh, Ms. Melvin, has the GAO uh, arrived at an assessment of the conclusions that uh, these two departments have that they simply cannot work together? Is that conclusion shared by the GAO, or have you asked yourselves that question? Our concern is with the, uh, the departments going down separate paths. We do think that it, um, is, it has inherent duplication in that approach. Um, what I would say over time is that as we have looked at um, both departments' initiatives, I think back in 2013 we issued a report uh, that looked at some of the fundamental reasons or barriers, if you will, for why these departments weren't able to do that. I mean, inherently each department has its own culture, and we understand that. Um, what we found, though, that there was a lack of joint uh, strategic planning on the part of the two departments to really look at what it is that they could do collectively to achieve this, um, this end state in, in terms of a joint um, system. Um, we also saw that and reported uh, on the fact that, you know, there was a lack of a joint architecture or an, or an overall investment management plan for getting them there. Let me, let me ask you this, and I am sorry to interrupt you, That's but okay. is part of the problem that there are no consequences? Uh, Congress <coughs> mandates a requirement and an outcome uh, back in 2008, 2009, and, and, you know, Mr. Miller, Secretary Counsel, have given us lots of great excuses for why they can't get it done. You have suggested some of the roadblocks that were in the way, but was there a consequence? Was anybody held accountable? Could these two departments just come to the conclusion that this is just too hard to do, we don't want to do it for whatever reasons, and then they don't do it, and now we are marching down these two paths that may or may not be p parallel, may or may not be interoperable, may or may not work together, may or may not waste billions of taxpayer dollars, and there is no consequence. I have reached the conclusion that the only person who can referee this dispute between these two departments is the President, and it must become a priority of his, uh, and he must, unless there is, and, and I am I'm all ears on a compelling reason why we can't do this, unless he says to the Secretary of Defense and the Secretary of the VA, you have to find a way to get to a unified system that works for every active duty service member, their family members, dependents, and the veterans. It is certainly possible for all the reasons that everyone has given. Do you agree with, with that assessment? Do you think it is possible, or do you agree with Mr. Miller and Secretary Counsel that this is impossible? I, I won't say that it's impossible. I think our concern is that um, over the years, the history of, of looking at this, um, we've had a lot of concerns about the stops and stops, and stops with this initiative. Uh, there have been uh, mandates. The 2008 National Defense Authorization Act, for example, said, uh, directed them to have um, fully interoperable capabilities. Uh, it has been a history of, of the two departments going down particular paths uh, that they wanted to pursue for this, uh, changing at certain points. And there has not, in our view, been the accountability for them doing it. Uh, they have changed gears along the way, uh, as you know, the most clear being moving from two systems to a joint system and that back to uh, two systems again. So uh, it is a matter of the leadership uh, taking the stand and saying we are going to make this happen and working to do that. We have not seen the de dedication on the part of the two departments to take a stand on that and actually make it stick. Yeah, I would just say to my colleagues that if we are satisfied by the excuses given today, then we share in the culpability for uh, the consequences that I think we are going to be hearing about at a hearing in two, four, six, eight, ten years about why these systems can't work together, why we have spent billions of dollars, uh, and why we haven't been able to get the job done. I think we have to insist on consequences and accountability and performance. And, and we have not 
done that effectively to date. And so I look forward to joining my colleagues in, in working on that and demanding that of the administration. With that, I yield back.